In this video, we'll be looking at win percentage, ATS percentage, over percentage, and Pythagorean filters within BET Labs. All of these filters can be found within the Team Info button. Simply click on the Team Info button and the list of filters will appear. Let's start with Team Win Percentage. As you can see, it gives you a range from 0 to 100. As the description states, the team's winning percentage at the time the game was played. You can adjust the filter by changing the endpoints on the slide bar or by simply typing in whatever numbers you desire. As you change the endpoints, the record, money won, and ROI at the top will change. It's important to know that your numbers must go smaller to larger. For example, if you do 40 and 30, the filter will not work. You must go from 0 at the leftmost point to 100 at the rightmost point. When you're done, simply hit Save Filter, and it will be added to the system. You can do the same thing with opponent win percentage. And you're just looking at the team that you're playing against and what their win percentage was at the time of the game. The graph below makes it easy to see what ranges are profitable and what ranges are not profitable. Each green dot represents profit and each red dot represents a loss. We'll simply close this filter. Next we'll look at ATS percentage. Instead of actually winning or losing the game, this looks at a team's winning or losing percentage against the spread. So if a team has covered exactly half their games, that would be a 50 ATS percentage. You can do the same by looking at the opponent ATS percentage and the filter works the exact same way. Next, we'll look at Pythagorean win percentage. This one involves a little bit more math than win percentage or ATS percentage. Pythagorean win percentage is a measurement of how well a team should be doing based on the amount of points they've scored and the amount of points they've allowed. Each sport has a unique formula to determine this number. The basics of this filter show how a team should be performing and has nothing to do with their actual win-loss record. We'll close this filter. A related filter is the Pythagorean plus-minus. This is how well a team is doing compared to their actual win percentage using their projected win percentage that we saw in the Pythagorean formula. As you can see in the About Filter description, it's projected win percentage minus actual win percentage. Therefore, a positive number means a team is underperforming, while a negative number would indicate a team is overperforming. You can combine Pythagorean filters, win percentage filters, and ATS percentage filters to quickly get an idea of which teams are overperforming and which teams are underperforming. We'll close this filter, and lastly, we'll look at over win percentage. You are still looking at spread results for this particular system. You're just using the over-under as a basis of how you're selecting your teams. For example, if you set the range from 75 to 100, you are looking at teams that go over the total 75% to 100% of the time. If you're wanting to look at teams that consistently go under the total, simply look at the opposite. If you did 0 to 25, you'd be looking at teams that only went over the total 25% or less at the time, which means they went under the total 74%. And we'll close that filter. And that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll look at the teams and opponents' previous games and how you can combine those with current filters to make profitable systems.